How to create an amortization schedule. Yeah, so we will be using Excel and uh, we'll be assuming that uh, you took a $45,000 loan with a zero down payment to buy a car. And the loan terms are such as we only make four annual payments at the end of each year. And this is the interest that the bank is uh, charging is 8%. And our goal is to create a table, but uh, first we need to calculate the annual payment and then uh, we will be able to complete the loan amortization table. So here's my table. I, we start with the, the years, we start uh, 45,000, that's the loan we received today. We haven't made any payments because the first payment takes place at the end of the first year. So each payment, we can think of this as an, uh, an ordinary annuity. So the first thing to do would be to calculate the payment. In this case, we use Excel's uh, function uh, payment, PMT. And the interest rate is 8% on this loan. We have four years. And the present value of uh, this loan is, uh, we, I'm going to enter this as a negative. That's what we have, 45,000. Our future value, hopefully we will pay off and cancel this loan. So our future value will be zero. And then for the type, we just leave it by default or we can put zero if you want, because this is an ordinary annuity. So we are fine with the, with the zero if you want. So zero, zero, and well, we can leave it by default. That's all right. So when we click on the payment amount is uh, 13,586. That will be the amount of each of the four equal payments. So I, I'm just copying one on, on the other. Then we have to calculate the payment is made up or composed of two parts, the interest and the principal. So all four equal payments have an interest portion that decreases over time and then the principal that increases over time. So we have to make the first calculation on the interest paid and we owed 45,000 and um, we have to um, pay 8% on, on that. So 0.08 or 8%, that's the amount of, on interest that we paid for the first uh, month for the first year, I'm sorry. And then the difference goes towards uh, principal. So what's the balance? The balance is just the beginning balance minus the principal that we just paid. Once we have that, we just copy and paste. And here we go with the amortization schedule that shows an ending balance of zero because we made all the payments. As I mentioned earlier, the interest portion decreases over time and more, most, more of the payment amount goes towards principal as we get closer to the last um, year.